All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. And I'd like to thank you for joining me today as we continue our adventures of Eivor on the Isle of Sky right now. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Also, don't forget to leave a comment and a like on the video down below and share us on social media. Trying very hard to grow this channel and not doing a good job of it. <laughs> Time of uh, filming here, and toward the end of March, we're still at 23 players or 23 subscribers. Not growing. Got to figure out what's going wrong here, and what do I have to do to get better? If anybody out there in the void is watching, let me know what you think. What kind of improvements I make, and what kind of content I should make that might entice you to watch me more. All right. So, in the last episode, we discovered we have five shards that we have to gather up to open the door in the Cave of Gold, and we met up with Cassandra there, and we had some words, things got a little testy between us, but, you know, it's all good. Alphas, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. So, right now, we are going for the second shard. We got one last episode, and we'll try and grab the other for this one. Hopefully, uh, that won't be a problem. Yeah, I figured there'd be some dudes here. But, you know, start it like that. So anyway, before we go any further, we're getting, uh, the wealth that's here. Shit. Thanks for the door, bro. And there we go. A little nickel ingot. A little titanium, a little silver. A little assassination. Life is good. All right. Maggot! Get back here! Wow! That was me. Shot me in the ass. Alright. Is that it? Can we get one more? Yep, ammo's full again. Good. Alright, so let's go get the second piece. We had to grab the piece of wealth. There's not a lot of wealth on this island. There's not a lot of mysteries. Um, it'd be a shame to leave without gathering all the artifacts, all the wealth, and all the mysteries, and have to come back later, so... We'll burn through this story, and then afterward I'll probably, if there's anything straggling, um, just do it off-screen and grab it all and come with it. So we're hitting this one first on this little island. It's off the coast of Sky, And, um, after that we will... kind of, uh, go along the southern edge of the map. I think if we go you know, south to, to west eventually, we gather them all that way in a kind of a logical fashion. Which would be great. We're a little overpowered for this. Um, this is like a level 55 recommendation, so we're a little overpowered. And that feels good after going to Jotunheim and being a little underpowered. <laughs> yeah, it's always... Yeah. Open world games are funny that way, if you, you know, especially if it doesn't have scaling in it. Like, if a game has scaling where enemies scale to your level no matter what, well, that's kind of cool that no matter where you are, everything's always going to be a challenge, you know. And to some degree, I mean, granted, you know, players always tend to min-max their characters. Not always, but a lot of them tend to min-max their characters and make the toughest... Um, character they can that, that deals the most damage and you know it ends up being uh, easy anyway even when you're uh, matched up um, level wise you know even if you got a, a level 100 character and all your enemies are level 100 well by that time you've got great gear you, you know the mechanics of the game and Oh, pretty easy. 
I see where we have to go here. Ever since discovering that well, are we just gonna do this? Okay, let's go up. So yeah, but a game like this, it doesn't scale everything to you, so... You don't have that, uh... That benefit. You go somewhere really hard, and yeah, you're screwed. You go somewhere really easy later on when you're tough. And... It's super easy for you, like... You know, for a player that maybe had this from day one and played it and beat it and all that by the time um this dlc came out he may have been too strong for it to be a challenge you know and so there's that you know but the scaling's nice huh i thought there was gonna be a way in there We never even tried the door, did we? There's no door, okay. Uh-huh, I wonder if we have to shoot that lock off. That's probably what we did there, yeah. Yep. But we can't hit it from here. But we can from here. here. Awesome. Three opals. Okay. No food, but our rations are full, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> house already, I believe, right? Yeah. Can I miss something? Sometimes it gets a little glitchy and makes it look like you didn't loot something, but you did. You've been in here, I believe, right? Alright, well, I think we're in yeah, we're in the right area here. Um, Brother's Cave we need to go into, so we need to find that cave. Which is over this way. We kind of got distracted by this little uh, town here. There's the cave. Alright. I'm glad we went to the town. We got some good stuff out of it. Oh, look. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Us to look at that. Let's look at that again. Deep into the ground. Well, 
right down the well over there. Footprints. Walking at a hastened pace. I see whisper. things they love doing in uh, open world games is I'm sorry pretty bear is this a baby bear here. That's just an ammo. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're up in the tree there. Is that where we are? Okay. Kind of figured we'd be heading up here, but I wanted to make <laughs> sure. This we're going to have to shoot down. Awesome, so that's two out of five. The next one is right over here. Let's mark it so we don't get confused with these other ones. There's one, two, and then three. Yep, all right. We are on our merry way. Faithful Raven. little rabbit. So hopefully. And here we go. Let's uh, get our mount. Here, kitty. What are you doing in the water? You don't like the water. <laughs> of course, follow road right isn't available. He's in the water. Can you follow that? stream out a road. But what is a stream other than a water-filled road? So profound. We're not that far anyway. Yep, getting 
nice and close here. We'll grab that opal. down here. Fairy pools. Yay, I love fairy pools. That's kind of grim looking. Alright, well it looks like we just got to jog our way up here and like Always look behind waterfalls. Don't go chase this. I will definitely take that. That was the key. Okay. What's this lady want? What are you doing with your wolves, lady? Oh, yes. Could you please be a deer and wade into the fairy pool so I can sacrifice you to the fairies? You're asking if you can kill me? Yeah, that's really Since not gonna the happen, nightmare lady. started, the fairies have whispered in my ear, promising power if I find sacrifices for them. They've even led me to one of their treasures for my hard work. The prettiest shard. So please, into the pool now. Fairies are tricky creatures. Are you sure that shard isn't muddling your mind? I haven't quite felt like myself lately. You could be onto something. <gasps> Take this shot far away from me, please. You got it, darling. Alright, this one's gonna attack. I guess not. Alright, so what's the next one on our list? It's this one here. Mount up for this one. It looks like we can follow the road now. Cannot be reached. Massive bodies of water. Well, not massive, but you know, fairly large sized bodies of water between them. It's an interesting setup. That lends to uh, some diverse modes of travel, you know, which is cool. I didn't look at that. There's a little boat, just as I hoped. Alright, Kitty, you just stay there till I call you.
I said, there's not a lot of wealth on here. We may as well grab it when we're close by it. It's probably an ingot. But well, we don't know. Kind of badass if it was another weapon, I'll tell you that. But it's an ingot and looks like it's in a fortified area. They will attack on site here. arrows at me. Nuggets and then a squashed head. There's a big chest here. our boat and continue on our merry way. the journey ahead of us here. But we've only got two more to go, so this shouldn't be too bad. Relatively speaking, unless they're in like some really intense areas, they sh 
These things tend to go kind of quickly. Wow, look at these waves. It's kind of cool. The waters look really good in this game. But that's something that video games have improved a hundred times over in the past and it appears it's water and games, how it works, how it feels. Back in the day, it was awful. all those jellyfish. Yeah, I think we were here before. That head stomping is quite fun. And I do like that, um, Alternative left hand attack. It's like a spear. <laughs> it's great. It just unleashes some serious fury on a guy. Pales and throws him to the ground. Blue in the Malachite. Aren't you silly? Look. Do a head stomp. Look. Bambi. 
Alright, well, we'll come back to it. That was just a little quick stop off. I don't want to spend 20 minutes looking for a key. That's for sure. Ready, buddy? Ah. Alright, we are off to the final objective here. And I guess we're going to have to meet with Cassandra again. Hopefully she's still not all pissy with me, but, you know. for road following is cool and all that, but it can seriously take you out of your way sometimes. I've noticed it with the ships too, the long ships and uh, like following the coast and all that. Sometimes it takes you a serious roundabout way to get to a location that can be a little frustrating. manually and then whistle them back on the other side and it's just it takes a little time Excavation site. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Together, lads, we have this. You're going down. Come, brothers, let's end this. Blindside, idiot. Now. Oh. Oh. 
What is that over here, then? Yeah, sorry. Oh, was it that dude that was up on the... I don't think so. Let's look around here. Uh, we'll look around camp first. If we don't find one, then that's where we'll go. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, 
little bit of a hike ahead of us. Anything you want to make it easy. That was terrible. Fortunately, this guy isn't too, too far away. And he somehow has its magically reappearing oil jars. Distrust area. Let's just call it a mutual distrust area because I don't know. These guys are a little sketchy too. <clears throat> I find this this time. I'm gonna get, uh, rather catch on fire a little bit. Get that thing to make that run again. So. Unavailable. Let dreams may come. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Leave a comment on the video and a like down below. It is appreciated and share us on social media. Any and all exposure it is just a beautiful thing. It helps us grow. So we'll pick this up. I'm going to fast travel. Maybe. There we go. All right, we'll pick this off when we're done fast traveling. We'll pick this right back up where we uh, left off here and see if we can't finish this uh, mission up in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time in Valhalla.